several days of steady rain, mild temperatures, and gusty winds to boot. If this just sounds like a typical West Coast weather, you could be right. But it could also be an atmospheric river, also known as a pineapple express or just plain fire hose. This weather phenomenon occurs when a narrow corridor of concentrated moisture is transported great distances. On the west coast of North America, these narrow bands are typically only a few hundred kilometers wide, but several thousand kilometers long, transporting moisture and temperatures in some cases all the way from Japan or Hawaii. In the latter case, these events have become known as Pineapple Express, because in this case, the source of the warm, moist air being directed towards the Pacific Northwest is Hawaii, where pineapples are grown. So what drives such a strong and narrow current? Well, typically it's the jet stream. It acts as a conveyor belt for the moisture. Waves of low pressure systems then travel along the axis, enhancing the rainfall in waves. A pretty daunting stuff for such a poetic name, atmospheric river. The technical term was coined by a couple of MIT researchers in the late 1990s who characterized the long, narrow plumes of rain that resembled rivers within the atmospheric flow. The researchers also found that more than 90% of the global transport of water vapor from the equator northward is thanks to these atmospheric events, even though they cover less than 10% of the Earth's circumference. So while they are often very disruptive for those at the receiving end, severe flooding, mudslides, snow melt, they're also a huge part of the global water cycle. So is this really just a West Coast phenomenon? Mainly yes. But that's not to say the rest of Canada doesn't experience them in one form or another. Often these warm tropical air masses will hop over the Rockies, uh, being drained of their moisture. They'll result in Chinook winds or they'll reform as storms, making it all the way to the East Coast with rain, winds and snow a few days later. So regardless of where you are across the country, all aboard the Pineapple Express. And now you're Science Smart. If you've got a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.